My next guest is the pastor emeritus and former senior pastor for the Moody Church in Chicago. He's also an award-winning author, and he appears on not one, but three radio shows heard worldwide. He's got a brand new book, and it's addressed to Christians who are under siege in this very secular world. The title of it is, We Will Not Be Silenced. Would you please welcome Dr. Erwin W. Lutzer. Welcome, Dr. Lutzer. Thank you. Great to be with you. Thank you. I knew I was going to like this book because the foreword was written by Dr. David Jeremiah, one of my very favorite pastors. Uh, he's on TBN, but what a great, great insight he brings. And when I saw that he did the foreword of your book, I said, it's going to be a good book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's the message that we need and that you address in this book? First of all, what I'd like to do is to just give a brief summary, but you know, my heart has to do with the response of the church, ultimately. I didn't write the book so much to reclaim the culture as I wrote to re reclaim the church, mm. because I see the church today submitting to the culture and intimidated by the culture, and that's why we are silenced. But Governor, when I began to realize that the radical left in America does not believe that America can be fixed, it has to be destroyed and rebuilt on a different kind of foundation. Now, we, freak, we frequently hear, you know, about cultural Marxism. Cultural Marxism says we can bring about Marxism, not with a bloody revolution like in Russia and in China, but we can do it incrementally. But what we have to do is to capture the media, education, and we certainly see that happening. Mm -hmm. We have to capture such things as law, and then we have to silence the church, and of course vote for the right people, and we can bring about this Marxist state. So, on the other side of the revolution, you know, you will have uh, the end of income inequality, the end of racism, and so forth. Now, what I do is I apply that to the vilification of our history, the tearing down of monuments and so forth, and how our history is being viewed today. And then I also apply it to race. We've seen it before our very eyes. And, and I think the message that you're bringing is an important one because so many people say, we're Christians and we just need to go to church and we don't need to get involved in all these, uh, some will say political, others will say cultural. Uh, but they just don't feel like Christians ought to mix it up out there in the secular world. What's wrong with that approach? Why shouldn't they just stay put? Governor, we're living at a time when the culture is collapsing and there is no place to hide. Mm. We are encountering the ideology of the radical left everywhere. Parents, of course, encounter it in the schools. We're encountering it in government. So it's not as if we can continue to ignore it and pretend it's not there. One of the most interesting chapters, I think, has to do with the whole problem of propaganda. Because the purpose of propaganda is to so shape people's view of reality that even when confronted with a mountain of evidence, they will not change their mind. Now, throughout the book, of course, I talk about the sexualization of children, socialism, I show why it seems so exciting, but why it must fail, because I show that ultimately socialism becomes a paradise for parasites. <laughs> and that's exactly what happens. What a so great line, I love that. I love it, paradise for parasites. <laughs> when you think of how this message needs to touch America and what is the takeaway, what would be the summation that you would say, this is where we have to get to. The Church of Jesus Christ is going to have to relearn lessons that other eras in which the church has learned these lessons, okay? The simple fact is we're going to have to go back to the basics, but also, Governor, people are going to have to be willing to suffer for their faith. In other mm. words, we are being intimidated, you know, and uh, students today in the universities, Oftentimes they are not talked out of their faith, but they are mocked out of their faith. And of course, because of social media, we are intimidated. And I maintain that the church must stand on issues and say, here we stand and we will not give ground. Mm. And that immediately... Mm. That is a message 
I hope people will see. It is the heart of this message. We will not be silenced. It's available to buy right now at christianbook.com. If you're having troubles navigating the waters of secular society as a Christian, and I can't imagine that that's easy for anyone who's a believer, this book's gonna help you stay on course. And you can maintain a stream of wisdom and insight following Dr. Lutzer on social media.